I'm Robert Beck. I've been asked by Phillips Mill to put together a virtual studio tour. Now, a lot of my work has been done on the road, plein air, interiors, people doing things, but I'm doing more studio work now. All of my paintings are descriptions of my encounter with my subject, how it feels to be there. So the environment has a, a big influence on how I paint. My studio is very important to me. It helps me be creative. There's two places to paint in the studio. The easel's located up front with those big windows and all of that wonderful light. But as you go back, the floor steps down and it creates this big wall. And I can put up a large piece of canvas and do a mural or a stretched painting. Right now there's a four foot square image I'm working on. It's the view out the window when you're on approach to Newark Airport. I've done a number of large paintings on this wall. Last year I did a six foot square whale. And a number of years back I did a 12 foot wide hydroplane. Along the front wall off to the side is this little alcove with my bookcases and desk where I can do my business. This is where I sit and write. It's a partner's desk. I work on that left side of my computer. I write there. I have got a clear line of sight to, the, um, to that little pit where all the paintings are. So if I'm writing about a painting, uh, I can see it. The other side is usually piled with a lot of stuff, bills and so forth. Uh, but I don't have to clean off one side to go over to the other side. It's nice having two surfaces. I can never have too many surfaces. Looking at the front window. Isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love this place. I designed it myself. We built it back in 2008. Uh, moved in in 2009. Same time I moved the, uh, the gallery to North Union. So there's a little desk there where I can do my, if I have to do a little sketching or cutting some stuff out or any kind of artwork that requires a, a flat surface. We go into the corner there, and this, this is storage for paints and brushes. And you can see I have a lot of paintings up there on the wall. That one light in the middle, I call it my Frankenstein light, was made by uh, Charles Tiffany, just for, specifically for me for this purpose. Um, I put my back to the windows, and you can see my easel for painting by uh, natural light, the windows face north. But you can see across the room to that painting pit on the back wall, any other paintings. I'm gonna point up and you can see that there's also skylights down the end which bathe that wall in, in light during the day. So there's my, my immediate work surface where I, with my palette, where I mix my paints, junk, tubes. I'm working with uh, Vasari paints now. For my career, I worked with Windsor Newton because I wanted paints that I could find all around the world. I didn't want to be in some country need burnt sienna and have to learn somebody else's. So I stayed with Windsor Newton. Now I am trying Vasari paints, which I'm having a great time with. These are the, the two couches right in the middle of that side. I'm gonna back up a little bit and give you a little bit more room, a little bit more of a view of that. The couches there. And when people come, we can sit and we can talk. 
about anything. Uh, painting, whatnot. Sometimes my friends or other artists come over and we talk about uh, things we want to do, things we want to try and make happen. Sometimes people bring their, their uh, teenagers with them so they get a, an exposure to a working artist's room. And uh, we talk about what role art can play for them. So we've come to the back, that pit, and there's a lot of paintings here. Most of those against the back are paintings from uh, this year, at least this past 12 months. This is a painting, uh, if you can see it, of a Christmas dinner. It was modeled after our family dinner. Um, doesn't have all the people. Uh, I'm not in there, that's other people. Looking in the back, there's... That's the view of um, Lewis Island from Fred's breakfast when the sun's coming up. We're looking at the Empire State Building as you're heading in towards the Lincoln Tunnel um, in New Jersey, how you see that popped up, it's just a, a mile or two away, and uh, it really distorts your perspective. Love the blue in that. There's a couple of main scenes. This, this is one of my most recent, and there's just, there's something about this, there's a magic that I, I love. Uh, I was trying to, trying to determine how the fog would work in this, and it seemed to turn out pretty well. It feels like it's moving through the water. Down on the floor we have Pop Heath. And this is a painting I did this spring. I divided this panel up into, uh, just with chalk, into eight spaces and did the progression of a peach blossom. Took some clippings, put them in a jar, some water, and uh, over the course of 11 days, painted eight images. This side of the, the pit with its little shelf there is where I put my plain air paintings and other images, like small images I've done to dry. And that brings me around to where I came up in the studio. So there's a quick look at the studio. If you'd like to see more of the work, go to robertbeck.net. Thank you for joining me.